Hello and welcome back to another quick video technique. Um, I thought since I'd just done the batch processing and I mentioned ViewNX for um, resizing images, I thought I'd very quickly go through that process just now. So it's not under the Photoshop Friday, it's just a random, here's a tip, have this package, this is how it works, and we'll go through it just now. So I'll open up ViewNX. And again, my apologies for how slow the system is running. It is just down to how much stuff I've actually been doing in the last couple of hours um, on my system, and it really badly needs to be rebooted or shut down, or at least stop me doing stuff for a little while to let it catch itself up. Um, right. <clears throat> so to resize. This is my full size folder of images. I've already resized them. Okay. Um, in ViewNX, you've got your, your sidebar like anywhere else, which gives you all your images. So, all you want to do, and this is really easy, is you want to select all of the images. So, I'm just going to shift and click. That selects all of them. You've then got the tab up here for Convert Files. You get to choose your file format. I'm always going to use JPEG for completed because these have already been edited. So for finishing that off, JPEG. I want excellent quality and change the image size. And you can choose what size that you want. Now, as I mentioned before, I got mine preset to 500 pixels on the longest side. Um, that for me, just for Facebook, that's all I'll use. To save in, you can put it in the same folder as original or specify a folder. I always go in and create another folder within this folder. So if I've got my, you know, edited images, I'll create a subfolder of that which is resized images. And that's when I would look to resize it. And I would then resize all of those images by just hitting convert and let the the package do its thing. Now from there what that will then do is put the images into the resize folder. Now these ones have already had the logos added so ignore that. But what I then do is create my landscape and portrait folders in here and then copy the landscape images into landscape and the portrait into portrait and that then leaves the rest of this folder blank apart from those two subfolders. That way when I go to batch them in Photoshop I can just put them back into this folder as I've done here and that leaves me the landscape and portraits without the logos in one folder in case I want to change the logos at any time or redo anything and it gives me in a separate folder the logos on there. Whatever works for you do but it is certainly worth doing. Again with converting these files I would show you how to do it but it is going to work, run really slowly on my system at the moment. It's much faster than the batch processing on Photoshop which is why I've not created an action for resizing through Photoshop, it does it on here, it's much quicker. Um, I can't remember where I got my version of UNX from, I'm sure it was a free download that I got as part of uh, um, a package I got with my camera, because um, I use Nikon. Canon will probably have something similar, I don't even know if you can use Canon on this, because as you can see this is specific You know, Nikon transfers, um, so you know, look into it, but you really want to try and get a package like this this is all I use it for. It's got all these other little things up here that you can use. I don't use them. I specifically use it for resizing only. Um, so that is how I resize my images. Uh, it's a very quick one. I just wanted to throw that in there because of doing the batch processing. Um, so hopefully it gives you some, I you know, info that's useful to you um, and show you that you don't have to rely on Photoshop to do everything. You can use other packages that maybe work faster and get the job done. I'll catch you on the next video guys.